Oh god, I'm not ready. What is this? Before we minimize that. Oh goodness. Well, we'll find out if that's useful later. <sighs> this is Sepia Tears. Midwinter's Reprise. Music sounds nice, but maybe a little too loud for recording. You've heard of the Mayfly, right? Who's talking? Is it a man or a woman? Probably a man. Probably the main character. It's one of those odd winter days when the snow is falling, but it isn't cold. Either late November or the beginning of December, right around the time when the dollar stores start playing Christmas music and the couples go skating. How's it, how is it not cold if they're going skating and it's snowing in December? Fucking Japan must be weird. Where was I? One of those odd winter evenings, the same old 3pm through the lens of the classroom window. I would describe the muted texture of light through the glass, but it's... Oh, ah, fuck. First fuck up of the video. There's a finger up. Let me rec make a note of what time it is. 5.30? 6? 6.30? Yeah. What was it? What? Oh, I forgot where... I'm just gonna restart that. I would describe the muted texture of the light through the glass, but it's become all too familiar. It'd be like describing the miracle of flowers blooming in spring. The novelty's gone. Chairs screech... Two. Chairs screech against tiled floor and students... You know, just the more I fuck up, the more... You know, let me just like... Man, many, 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 mama, moo. Chairs screech against tiled floor and students chatter all around, but the sounds fail on me, weightless. The mayfly, the bug that lives for only a day once it grows its wings. It's a great metaphor. You must have seen it before. My mind wanders sometimes. It's like being stuck in a room with the TV set to local news, almost muted but not quite, or like reading a boring webpage because you're too lazy to click away. Why are we just staring at a black screen? Come on. <laughs> Having a voice in your head that won't shut up. It used to bother me, but I can handle it now. Uh, so this guy has, like, issues in his head. <laughs> Listen... <laughs> <laughs> Listen to music on the way home, play a video game before you go to bed, kill time in any way you can, and it won't be so loud. Jesus, what's wrong with this kid? Ever wonder why they even bother? It's simple, really. You pick up your- is this like somebody asking them and they're- I don't- What is this right now? <laughs> you pick up your books, stand up, put on your gloves as you walk through the early winter chill. Get a home, make a snack, relax, and let the process repeat itself. You know, yeah, I can agree with that, but not the words in your head, what? Life is the easiest thing in the world when you think about it. But sometimes, memories resurface. The horrible red-brown that encroaches on my vision, creeping from a red box, locked safely away. That was like an almost fuck-up kind of thing. Are we counting that? How far are we in? in we're, eh? I can't even speak normally. Two, right? Oh, good. Is something actually happening? Me. I. Human person. Oh, it's cold. I hadn't noticed before, but it looks like it's snowing. Was I out for that long? I was walking home from a school a moment ago, I'm sure. Or this is a dream. That would make sense. Wait, wait, wait. If this is my, my thinking, then was I just talking out loud? There's something wrong with this guy. <laughs> <clears throat> But then why am I wearing my school uniform? And why is my wallet in my pocket? Well, that doesn't prove anything, but might as well roll with it. Seriously, pitch black here. I can make out the snowflakes just fine, but nothing seems to be lighting them. Well, yeah, because the authors are lazy. Artists are lazy. Uh, better start moving before I freeze to death. Ah! The light, it's... I was like prepared to. Oh, is this like somebody in a dress? That's that's cute. Ah, look at that! You've come. Y you. Thank you for coming to see me. It's lonely here, you know. Lonely? Yeah, I can't deny that. It's a peaceful. It's a peaceful prison, trapped in the darkness under the soft snowfall. But it's a prison. What's the matter? Aren't you glad to see me? I. She looks familiar, I'm sure of it. 
the memory teases the back of my mind like a vivid, lucid dream. Vivid, lucid... I, I guess that works. But I can't grab a hold of it. <laughs> it's been such a long time. I thought you would have been ec ec ecstatic. Ecstatic, that's... That's the fucking word. Three fuck-ups. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. I opened my word, but the... <laughs> I open my mouth, but the words are lost. The more I search for the memory, the more her eyes bewitch me. Those are very bewitching eyes. I like the style. They're just like, it's the, they, they make it look nice by using a lot of really thin lines a bunch of times. <laughs> That's what I do, because I can't draw, so I do a lot of thin lines so that I can adjust as I go. The snowflakes land on the girl's hair. I force the first words out of my mouth. Who are you? Do you really not remember me? What a shame. We have so much to cap So much to catch up on! Her smile is confident, mysterious, somewhere between angelic and doll-like. There's nothing to worry about. After all, we all have the same time in the world. What? No. We have... We have all the time in the world. I... Oh, I'm not doing well. This is why I don't... Uh, voice act, but whatever. <clears throat> so then, who are you? Yeah, who the fuck? What is with these little squiggly lines again? <laughs> she looks at me in the eye, the eye, and my heart stops. I'm the person you wish to know. You oh, I I reacted before I finished reading. I'm the person you wish you had never met. <laughs> she embraces me, and my senses freeze until a color strikes. Oh, this person's British. Look at that! They don't know how to spell color! What the fuck is wrong with them? <laughs> color strikes my eye against the monochrome backdrop. Hanging in the stillness, a red ribbon drifts from the side of her hair. And on the inside of that ribbon, something is written. But just as fantastic as that is the fact that the words are scrambled, blurred, even though my eyes are only inches from it. <gasps> Let's um, see what this does. Yeah, I thought so. Saves and stuff. So that's pretty important, but I'll do that later. That ribbon, do you remember? It was your... Her voice fades away. I glance at the ribbon again, but before I can move closer, my stomach turns upside down. Wah! <laughs> the girl's warmth fades from my arms. I thought she was, like, cold or something, because, you know, she's like a ice princess thing. Ah! <laughs> is she disappearing? I'm. This whole world is. Da, 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 da. A knife pierces my heart as I realize something. Ooh. It's not this world that's disappearing. It's me. Oh fuck! <laughs> this is getting pretty intense already, guys. Oh boy. <laughs> but whatever. The voice acting thing is fine because it means I don't have to talk. Reunion! Honey-chan! <laughs> Honey-chan, are you up? <laughs> it sounds familiar. Mark, we're going to be late! My voice is... Oh, fuck, the name is Mark. Am I? No, I'm... Well, is it a different person? Ah! <laughs> oh, there's that bad art. Are you even listening to me? Y yeah, I heard you. Jeez, wouldn't kill you to be a bit more gentle. Gentle? Gentle? But I'm your cute little sister. I'm automatically gentle. It's like saying I'm automatically dependable because I'm your older brother. Wait. <laughs> See? If you're not the dependable sibling you're supposed to be, that gives me the legal right to find new and exciting ways to tease you. I like her already. And who was it that wrote this law? More importantly, I have a history test this morning, so I'll leave it to you Oh, fuck me. So I'll leave you behind if I have to. Pouting, my diligently evil little sister runs down the stairs. Can't she find a more normal form of torture? <sighs> ah, It's bright out. Pleasantly bright. I can get lost just looking at that pale blue sky, although I fear the cold that accompanies it. See, this is why I hate winter. Nature has no mercy for the northern hemisphere. Actually, does it make a difference? Technically, every country is part of a hemisphere. 
So there must be warm regions in the sun. Uh, fuck, what do you... Yeah. So there must be warm regions in the northern hemisphere. And even so, the southern hemisphere would be... Mark! I've been working on my... Uh, Haku... Hakuto Shinken! And... I'm coming! I'm coming! Is that like an attack or something? I think it's an attack. The last time she tried this... <laughs> yeah, it's some sort of attack. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> Pretty sure I know who my next practice subject will be if you <laughs> if you make me fail my test. Oh. It's usually a practice partner, not practice subject. I'm having a lot of fun with this. This is better than I thought it would be. So that's my sister, Arena. Since she started attending the same high school as me, life has been a hell. Well, maybe that's an exaggeration. She's a nice girl and all. She takes care of me, makes me lunch, forces me to buy her stuff. Uh, see what I mean? I'm all out of compliments already, <laughs> and that's that. Ah, and that certainly wasn't the first. Wait, what? I don't know. Whatever. Ouch! Stupid razor. Dad was supposed to show me how to use this thing. How the f you figure that shit out pretty easy, man? <laughs> anyway, Rin is a strange girl, to put it nicely. She always rattles on about these crazy robot wars and melodramatic love stories that she watches, trying to find new and exciting ways to pull me into her world. I haven't figured out what she calls me Onichan yet, though. Maybe because it means big brother? Is it ironic? Ironically unironic? Ironic because she thinks I'll think it's so <laughs> subtly ironically unironic? <laughs> I like this one. I can only conclude that it's part of some devious scheme that I have yet to catch wind of. The tip of the iceberg, so to speak. If the iceberg were a blood-related little sister. So, th yeah, th I mean, they're blood-related. What's wrong with her calling you big brother, you fucking weirdo? <laughs> But as much as I'd like to criticize her, I can't complain. She still does better than me at school. <laughs> Rip. Alright, I'm almost done. Oh, and she also does a better job of cooking and budgeting than me. <laughs> and she never sleeps in. And the only time she's late for class is when I hold her back. <laughs> Fucking dick. <laughs> now do you see why life with her is hell? I think you're making it hell. <laughs> Good morning. Did you sleep well? I slept perfectly fine until I was awoken by a certain someone. How could you say that? Oh, she said something else after that. I missed it. Oh, wait, maybe not. I don't know. My eyes are fucking with me. You should be thankful to have such... Ah, fuck me. You should be thankful to have a cute girl like me wake you up every morning. What is that, like four? Four fuck-ups? I don't know, probably like 500 by now. <laughs> you're not supposed to call yourself cute. Is that because we're blood-related and you're... That's not why. What? I don't, I don't know. AFR? Is she, like, attracted? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's a little vain, don't you think? And it's not very cute. True. But what if I'm only doing it to unnerve you? <laughs> ah, point taken. <laughs> well, I do have to thank you. Oh, fuck me. I don't know, her, like, mouth opened or something, so I thought she talked. Well, I do have to thank you for keeping me on my toes all this time. You're like my brother, is what I want. Fuck. <sighs> You're like my mother, is what I want to say. But I imagine her twitching smile and my life flashes before my eyes. Oh. So, Rin, do you, you have a test this morning? Yep. I did a quick review with my friends yesterday, so you don't need to worry about it. I wasn't worried. Oh, is that way of, you say your way of hiding your affection? I, I am not built for this kind of thing. <laughs> Was that even remotely implied? I'm sure you'll pass the test. I just want to make sure you don't forget anything and end up failing for some stupid reason. Like that time I accidentally brought my Game Boy instead of my calculator? <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> yes. Like that time. I was only 12. It was an innocent mistake. Only 12. But anyway, you get what I'm saying. Just don't screw up. I won't, I won't. She couldn't have, like, borrowed a calculator or something? I'm sure she did. But aren't your exams coming up as well? Uh-oh. <laughs> I love that. Uh-oh. I, <laughs> I was going to go over to Lucas's house and study over the weekend. Or something like that. Even for you, that's not a very convincing lie. Psychic! <laughs> but I did make that up on the spot. It wouldn't kill you to have a bit of faith in me. 
If I said I'll study, I'll study. Really? You'll spend your whole Saturday afternoon doing math problems and rereading your social science notes? I'm tempered to say, what notes? But that isn't really the problem here. <laughs> I love this guy. Well, would you look at the time? Don't change the subject. But we'll be late. <laughs> well then, we'll have to continue at lunch, right, Oni-chan? That smile is so much more endearing before you get to know her. <laughs> Made it! That's weird, like it's... I think they took like a real picture and then they like put some weird filters on it. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> this is like the laziest art in the world accompanied with relatively interesting dialogue. <laughs> I leap past the front door as the clock strikes eight. I inhale a lunge full of December air. Oh, she's back. Not bad, Mark. Not bad at all. Why is she calling you Mark? Go back to Oni channel. I like that. <laughs> you were taking, you were taking so long with your bag that I thought it, I'd really have to put other gloves on. I thought you were going to leave me if I took too long. I, I was only kidding. <laughs> leave my only brother to walk to school on such a cold, cold day. I couldn't! And yet you can practice your anime fighting techniques on me? Well, when you look at it that way... Look at him fucking eyes. But you know, mastery of the martial arts can be extremely important. What does that have to do with anything? It's important, really! Yeah, yeah, I know. Self-defense and all that. No, no, not just self-defense. It's an extra weapon in your arsenal. What? Okay, picture this. <laughs> Imagine that you're fighting against an enemy who already knows all your techniques. And why would I be doing that? Because the person challenged you. Because they kidnapped the princess. Use your imagination. What if the princess is in another character? And you'll just have to go look for <laughs> Ouch. Anyway, let's send, say you end up in combat with someone who knows that you're good at long-ranged weapons, like a crossbow. They already know your weakness. All I have to do is dash forward and fight at a closer range. The archer won't be able to react fast enough and the attacker will have the advantage. That's very true. What if you're using mid-ranged weapon, like a lance? A lance? That's easy. A well-trained warrior would be proficient with bows, with bows and axes. And everyone knows that the axe beats the lance. True. But then couldn't you just learn magic and attack from a distance? Yes, but what if your enemy knows that you're a magician? A skilled axe wielder would eliminate you with a single strike. No critical necessary. <laughs> Every magician needs an ace up his sleeve. And that ace is the martial arts. That's one option. Wait. Was I the one that said that ace is martial arts? Maybe. You see, magicians draw their power internally, not externally. Magic, unlike sorcery, flows through a natural internal circuit before it can be used in the form of a spell. <laughs> Do I really have to read this? <laughs> Fuck it. The use of these circuits can drain much of an amateur's magical, magical energy, resulting in the weakening of Ma Magus's combat ability in the scenario. Even a trained Magus would be susceptible to the attacks of an ordinary human, with more, more so if it's a human who's skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat, though it is unlikely the scenario it will be prudent for Magus to... Even... <laughs> Enough with the info dumps. <laughs> she almost broke the text box. Oh, there he did it. He broke the fourth wall. Beautiful. It's perfect now. Fine. I don't need you. She clicks the Twitter icon on her phone and runs away. <laughs> I'm going to tweet about how much you suck, Oni-chan. Okay. I may have been a bit hard on her back there. But this isn't a, isn't a bad com outcome either. This is a real picture of a real place. <laughs> <sighs> You'd think the streets would be a bit more busy in the morning, but no one ever, uh, no one ever passes by here. Oh, somebody sent me a message. Mm, I'll have to find that out later. Mm, it's hard to get used to if you're from the city, but I've lived in the suburbs my whole life, and I like the play peace and quiet. Well, how does he know that? Does he, like, talk to people from the city a lot, I guess? It's nice. Let's your mind wander. Ooh. Let your mind wander to things you'd rather avoid. <laughs> Mark, 
Huh? What was that? Look around and momentarily spot a figure, but it disappears before my eyes. Strange. Should look familiar. Meh. Can't be that important. <laughs> Love this guy. Two weeks later, I would be back at that moment as uh, oh, fuck. as the first in series of very, very silly assumptions. <laughs> Look back on that moment. Oh, you got about ten minutes left in this video, I'd say. Lucas! Mark, you're actually early! A familiar voice welcomes me in, the co in from the cold. In front of me stands a young man I've known since the beginning of high school, and sometimes wish I didn't know. On time is more like it. We've had... We have barely five minutes until the bell. That's still an accomplishment coming from you. <laughs> oh, hey, did you bring your notes from the presentation? My other friend, Lillian, voices her question politely, unlike a certain little sister. Er, well, Rin was on the computer until midnight, and my laptop needed recharging, and... And your house was constructed without power outlets, of course. <laughs> fine, fine, I'll print them out at lunch. And there goes the bell. Uh, can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm actually looking forward to a boring lecture if it means I can relax. Teacher's voice drones on and on and... On. <laughs> is this is a... I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive this is another real picture of a real place. Like, this is just a real... Japanese high school, and they were like, all right, clear out the classroom, we'll just take a picture. <laughs> um, I only know of one way to escape. Jumping out the window might have a long-term consequences, though, so I'll contend myself with staring out of it. Whenever I'm bored at school, I always like looking, at, looking out at the weather and thinking about how I would rather be anywhere but here. Although, Fortune has treated me with nothing but a sadistic little sister on a pile of unfinished homework this morning, so maybe I'm better off in class after all. Mark. Am I hearing things? Mark! It's, it's just like this morning. Is this someone's stupid idea of a prank? I'm sure it was just some kid with nothing better to do with their time, but... Oh, there she is again. I sort of gave her a male voice. I'm not sure what to give her yet. I'm sure this is just some kid with nothing better to do with their time, but I can't forget that. Alright, I know what I have to do. Pinpointing the source of the sound, I spin around and glare at my target. She's not getting away this time. Er, the class stares at me. Lucas turns around. I sit back down. Awkwardly. <laughs> Lunch, finally. No matter how many years pass, nothing beats the taste of cold meat and freedom. <laughs> It's quiet. Lucas sighs audibly as I follow. I still don't get how Rin can sacrifice her lunch break to study for a test when she can, when she hardly ever studies at home. Far from the strangest thing she's done. Point taken. Silence. So, how was that game I lent you? Oh, right. To be honest, I'm not really into those dating sim. They're not dating sims if you don't, if they don't have statistics. Whatever, doesn't matter. I'll check. I'll check it out when I get. Oh fuck me! That's 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 me. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I'll check it out when I get the time. Right now I'm busy with. I was about to say schoolwork, but that lie won't last a second. Stuff. Yeah, stuff. Mark, you do know what this means, don't you? I really think I can see the sunlight glint off those glasses. This means that you have yet to experience modern Japanese visual culture in all of its glory! Can you please shut up now? <laughs> Surely you found yourself taking a peek at Rin's DVD collection at some point in the past 16 years. Haven't you ever felt dis... dis... Oh, what? Discontented? Yeah, discontented with the path the story takes? I'll take that as a no. Protagonists always have the same plot armor and suspense stories, and the main heroine always wins in romances. Even aside from being dumb dumbed down by the awkward transition between two inherently different mediums, haven't you ever felt like the story isn't working? Does it not feel like the main character is a brainless idiot and you have <laughs> and then you could do a much better job than him? It's a weird voice that I've given him, but you know, I, I'm not backing down. Haven't you ever felt like giving that idiotic protag a punch in the face and telling him to choose the shy, innocent library girl over that deceitful Onei-chan? Uh, 
Kakra, Kara, I have Kara, yeah. Onechan Kara, who, who can't go on a date without thinking about her little brother. Statement may contain a slight amount of bias. <laughs> Ahem. At any rate, there's only one solution to problem like these. You play the game. I sense an evil chuckle as he finishes, as if he wants to add, and soon you'll be just like me. Well, like I said, I'll get to it eventually. Lucas kicks his feet up. It's a really good game, though. And the school uniform kind of resembles ours, don't you think? As much as I hate to admit it, he's right. Our school is infamous for, for its elaborate uniforms that don't match its academic reputation. <laughs> that isn't going to make me play it any faster. Then I'll bother you every day until you do. Do you dare to underestimate my persistence? The bell signals the end of lunch and they head to class. Away from each other, thankfully. <laughs> I did it. it. Took a few years, but I did it. I made it back. And it won't be long before I talk to him again. Who's talking? What's happening? Clock ticks in the back background as a girl gazes pensively out the window. I don't know what that word means. Unless I read it wrong. I don't know, whatever. I'm getting nervous just thinking about it. Nervous and a little excited. It's been so long. What'll I do if he's if he's changed? This whole plan could be pointless. I guess I guess this is a girl talking. I have to stay calm. I know what I'm doing is, and I've thought it all through. Just to <sighs> sit up. Try again. <laughs> I have to stay calm. I know what I'm doing, and I've thought it all through. Just stick to the script. But I'm nervous. So 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 nervous. Ooh. I like sunsets. I really do. I could live with a, a long walks on the beach, but sunsets, they're special. Cliché doesn't have to make things less special. Not that it matters much. Storybook romances stay in the storybooks. It's, all, it's just nice to clutch a, ca fuck me. catch a glimpse of the stories sometimes. Be it the iPod shuffle gods granting divinity, selecting background music, or a perfect twilight after a day of rain. Phew, thanks again for the help. Don't worry about it. It's not like I have anything better to do. Slide down from the windowsill, but my feet hesitate. You know, that, that other part probably would have been like a good part to stop. Make sure the recording app is still running. Yeah. Something about red tint of the classroom and Lillian's smile is discomforting. Discomforting and uncannily familiar. Does the school library always get this much work? I can see why you ask for a hand. No, the library maintains itself with the help of the teachers. We just have some extra things to take care of before the end of the term. Paperwork, mostly. Sounds tough. All work and no pay. I think you mean no play. Wait, you're getting paid? No, but... Well, there you go. <laughs> Alright, fine. You win this one. Anyway, as I was trying to say, I don't mind the extra work. We help out because we want to, right? We help out because we... Oh, right. I guess, like, a, the, the picture flashed sort of because she moved or something. Though it's nice to have an extra pair of hands from time to time. Ah. Right. Besides, you always end up owing me favors. This is just one of them. Anyway, shall we head home? Yeah, let's go. Grab my bag and rush to hold the door. I should have a glass of water ready next time. I'll, I'll get one for the next video, whatever I'm doing next. It can be nice to stay back after school, can it? On the occasion, the weather is nice today. I try to say something other than the weather... <laughs> other than the weather to comment on, but... It's always cold in the winter, but it feels good when you're inside. It's like looking at a snow globe. Or, does that make sense? Now that you mention it, I don't think it does. <laughs> Love this guy so much. Made sense in my head. Don't worry about it. I know what you mean. Do you? I think. <laughs> Silence. Silence. What? I, it could have been the... Ah, fuck. It couldn't have been that important, right? I suppose. Lillian smiles wryly about something. 
You shouldn't sh Ah, fuck me. About something and walks up ahead. Frizzy, frizzy hair lit by the sun. Okay, I think... Walked alone for the next few minutes and I tried to nonchalantly wave goodbye. Can't shake the feeling that something was off about her today. Maybe I'm imagining things thanks to that voice in my head. The fuck? She keeps talking about this crazy voice. <laughs> I guess, yeah, that was the, the purple hair chick that popped up for two seconds. But she almost seemed as tense as me. Sigh. And I think that sigh should be where we end off this video. It's been about a half hour. Um, well, we can save, right? Yeah, save, save. No, it's fine. Yeah, that's that. And then, um, not as matters. Well, we can just make the text a little faster, I guess. Um, that's about enough for this episode. I'll probably want to do more tomorrow. I'm having fun with this. So this is Sepia Tears, episode one. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, you know, give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more of it or subscribe or something. I play like Valkyrie Crusade or other mobile games if I want to. And uh, thanks for watching.